is up guys my name is Mark Santamaria welcome back to the channel welcome back to the RC vlog I know it's supposed to be a Tamiya Tuesday I'm gonna show you some Tamiya stuff but that's not what we're doing today today we're gonna go over some of my races I know you guys like watching this or some of you guys like watching the race vlogs and some of my race footage I have been recording a few of my races so we're gonna go over some of them today I'll give you some drivers commentary 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 drivers commentary and uh, should be a lot of fun. It's been a while since I've seen these, so it's gonna be hard to watch. Make sure you smash the like button, turn on the notification bell, because yes, we're gonna be doing the Creighton build really, really soon. Also, the thumb steer steering wheels. Oh God, these things are amazing. They are back in stock. That's not, that's not even half of them. That's, that's very a little amount of them. I got way more than that. They're in stock. They've been selling out really fast, so make sure you grab one. They're for the TQ radios. Um, I got one right. There, that's what it looks like. Oh, they're freaking awesome. I love it. And we've been doing trail runs, so it's almost like you need them on these trail runs. <laughs> that way you got another hand. I will put a link in the description below. I think my favorite colors so far are these two. These are two new colors, the orange and the green. Also the light blue. Pink looks good too. I like the brighter colors. Man, but those look so good. All right, so here's the extent of Tamiya Tuesday today. I have my Racecraft pit uh, command module. I almost call it pit module command module i love this thing i love it so much i don't even want to take it to my office uh it's got a lot of light check this out oh yeah anyways yes grasshopper 2 I, i'm not done with it yet i did finish the body the body looks good my guy doesn't look so great but the body looks good i do plan on finishing this soon and when i do i'm going to compare it with the original grasshopper should be a lot of fun still got to do a review on that guy yeah got a lot of stuff to do but let me go grab a cup of coffee and let's go watch some racing all right, so here we go. Got to put the headphones on so I can hear what's going on. All right. Oh, whoa, whoa. All right, and we're off. All right, so this one was at Indy RC World. This was actually probably the quickest race I've ever raced in my life. This was A2 at Indy RC World for a Saturday club race. Uh, just so you know, guys, kind of set this, the stage here. In A1, I end up finishing second overall. Uh, there were a lot of e-buggies that day, so I was pretty pleased. I qualified six, but I don't really practice. That's one of my flaws. I don't really practice, so I don't really plan on qualifying well. I just want to get in the A, and then usually I... Ooh, I got a crazy hole shot there. Let's see. Let's see if I can remember this track. That triple, that wasn't that bad. This is the part that I felt like I caught up here. And then this piece right here, it's like I always undercut. See, that guy undercut that turn. And then your car kind of goes, where I stand on the stand, your car kind of goes missing for a little bit there. So, this is A2. And in A2, it was late in the day. Notice how there are no marshals. Well, the reason why there's no marshals is because it's last man standing. So, last man standing is once you flip over, you're out of the race. Um, however, they still run a normal 10-minute race, so you want to try to win. You can't go slow. So at this point, I've already crawled up to third. I see to run a good consistent... Oh, actually, I crawled up to... Now I'm in third. I just need to run a nice, consistent race. And let's see if I can do that. Oh, God. I'm looking solid right now. Oh, 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 oh! Oh! And that was it, guys. I told you that was the quickest race. <laughs> I was the fastest man of my life. Uh, I was probably the third car out, but I was running good until that point. Uh, yeah. Anyways, all right. Moving on. The next race is at Thornhill at the RC Pro Series Finals. This track, probably one of my most favorite Thornhill tracks, and I'm going to show you why in just a second. So here we go. There goes the buzzer. All right, and we're off. This is a qualifier. There's my car. So the reason why I love this track so much is there were so many features. So many features. Um, it wasn't just super high flying. This rhythm section in the middle was great. Uh, to set the stage for this race, this was not my best race. However, I actually recorded three races at this race. This was the one that was most positioned in the middle. So whenever I wear the GoPro on my head, it's hard to tell whether it's pointing down or not. And I know people say, oh, well, you can you can look it up on your phone, blah, blah, but sometimes it's kind of buggy, and I don't want to mess with that. Um, so this one was the most 
centered. This wasn't my best race. See, I overshot that corner real bad. This wasn't my best race, but it looked the best on camera. So I'm not afraid of showing you guys my bad races. Um, this, okay, that tabletop right there was probably the most difficult, difficult part for me because on that tabletop, I would want to clear that tabletop. But if you shot wide, it was bad. That middle section, seeing the track, I would think that part would be the hardest for me. That part actually wasn't hard at all. That double, triple, double. There were some guys that were double quadding single. Um, this off camber is super di difficult because in order to hit the off camber fast, that was the one that I just came out of, you gotta be able to get, cut it really close to the pipe, but if you cut it too close to the pipe, it goes bad and you hit the pipe. But yes, this is just one of my qualifiers in eBug. I did end up qualifying there, so I did. I ran okay. Again, it's one of those things where, oh, see I cut that. I just got pushed out of the way by three guys. Uh, I don't want to mess up their races, so I just went ahead and let them go. Oh, that was smooth. This part right here is really fun because you don't have to hit the brake. You can just kind of steer through there if you have your car dialed in right. You know, I, I feel like... Oh, see, I shot super wide in that off camber. I feel like I didn't have as much confidence as I needed with my car on this track. And it's not really the car, it's the track. It's so This track is so big. And you can't make any mistakes. So it's almost like I'd rather give up a little bit of time to make sure I don't make mistakes. Here's a part that I can't stand. See? See? That's why I can't stand right there. Look, now I'm up on the pipe. Oh, I flip over. Marshall's trying to get me. He gets me. <sighs> he said something about Mark Santa Maria. I don't even know what place I'm in at this point. Uh, but right here, again, you're racing against... You're basically in qualifying. You're racing against everyone in the class. So although there are 10 people in my race right here... There were like 30 people total, right? So I needed to see how I qualified amongst the all 30 people. So even if I finished, let's say I finished seventh in this ra or on this race, I could have potentially finished seventh for the round if everyone that was faster than me was in my race. I hope that makes sense. It does to racers. I tried, but let's see. Going into the, the double, triple section, I see that group of guys in front of me. Again, we're all on our own clock, so we're not racing against each other, but it kind of gives you an idea of how well you're doing if you're passing people, right? If you're sitting there passing people the whole time, it's pretty safe to assume that you're doing pretty well. If people are passing you the whole time, they're probably not doing that well. That far right corner, so hard to see, by the way. If you cut that corner too sharp, your, uh, your car kind of disappears a little bit. Straight away, the size of the track, that was a lot of fun. You get really fast going on that. This part I can't stand. You see, I kind of take it easy now because I don't want to make mistakes there. Double. Oh, oh! I knew I shorted it. You could tell I, I throttled it in the air. How you saw my nose came up. I throttled it in the air, hoping that I could get a little bit more. It came up short. That guy behind me passed me. Don't want to get too aggressive. Don't want to take anyone out because we're all on our own clock. Well, you don't want to take anyone out in general. Right? So, let's see. That step down was also kind of interesting because you want to go fast down that step. Oh! Oh. Shorted that one. That one took longer than normal for the Marshall to get to. Not the Marshall's fault, my fault, but needless to say, that's not a good place to flip over. There's someone else that flipped over on that tabletop. The thing is, what I've noticed, at least for me on this track, once you get out of the groove or you make a mistake, it's like it really... It's like a non-stop chain of mistakes. It's like it gets you completely off. And it's hard to get back into. Oh, I took that guy out on accident. Hey, but I flipped him back over. See, I was the one who really got hurt there. I was yelling. I yelled at him. I said, hey, go, go, go. Because that was totally my fault. There goes the buzzard. Time is over. So much fun, though. This was a great track. I kind of want to go back out there and run this track again. I feel like I was on pace. A few more, like a couple of practice days on the track would have been, you know, I, I think I would be up there. Um, there he goes, Mark Kenner, we're doing. Oh. So there you go, guys. You guys got two races out of that one. Man, I'm, tr I'm trying to record more races. I know I need to record a spec slash race. I didn't record a spec slash race at the this past weekend. Um, it's hard to record races and do really really well like I feel like I have to have my undivided attention on the race 
whenever it's on my, like I have a camera on my head, I'm thinking, oh my God, is it centered? Is it on? Um, are people cussing? Like those kind of things. So I'll get more races. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know a lot of you guys say y'all love the race videos, but not very many people watch them. So it's like, I, I have the same amount of fun shooting race videos as I do bashing videos. So if more people watch bashing videos, I'd rather do <laughs> bashing videos. Anyways, I'll still do them. I'm not going to stop racing. I love racing. Getting prepared for next season. It's going to be a super exciting season. I'm making some changes in my sponsors. That's going to be coming out soon. But anyways, I hope you liked this video, guys. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell, and you guys will see me next time. Later, guys.